It's Grealish Lovely. been out yet? Uh, you know what, Grealish, I think he was in Ibiza, but he didn't come see me. Oh. oh! You got snubbed by Grealish. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I got snubbed by you and all because you when? were there. You were in Ibiza a couple of weeks yeah, ago. You yeah, you were. I've been waiting for this Friday for over five years. Mm. Uh, as today is the day, Calvin Harris finally releases volume two of this Funk Wave Bounces album. Yes, and he's here to join yeah. us! Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hello. Yes. Hello. So nice to have you in person. Yeah. It's lovely to be here in person. We've spoken so much on Zoom and watching you just in the lovely sunshine of Ibiza. Spoken an unbelievable amount, really. Yeah. <laughs> I've spoken to you more than I've spoken to my own mum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, look, I actually, I've got quite a fun fact to you, right? So the world has obviously, obviously been waiting for this volume two version of the album for over five years. To the closest... 100 seconds. How many seconds do you think that is? Uh, a, a million and, and 12. A, a million and 12. It's, uh, it's, 12. I mean, you were right. close. You were close. It's 160 million, 876,805. Right, yeah. Six, That's not close. Seven. No, exactly. But, but look, sure. it's a long time. But, but oh, it's a long time. A lot of people very excited for this and rightly so. And what we wanted to do is uh, we wanted to know what you've been up to over the last five years. Right? In 30 seconds. Uh, t- t- 2018, I put out One Kiss uh, with Dua Lipa, uh, then the Sam Smith tune, then Rag and Bone Man at the start of 2019, Giant. Uh, 2019, I decided to grow some premium carrots. Uh, so I did that. I did some carrots, celery. Uh, the following year, 2020, I had a lot of tomatoes. Regret that. Uh, don't agree with me. Uh, and then I got back into the carrots. I grew watermelons. Uh, eight of them, and then I made this album. Nice. So what happened with the tomatoes? Yeah. Well, they contain, uh, they're very high in lectins, okay. uh, which can irritate the gut, Roman. Oh, I uh, see. If you too many, you don't want to eat the, the skin of the tomato. But wash it down with a sheep's milk and you... Jobs Listen, again. don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> this could go a very, very different interview to what you're expecting. We got on the raw sheep smell kits. You know I mean? You'll never get me out here. <laughs> hey, but let's talk about the album. We've been joking, but we really have been waiting yeah. five years for it. People were so excited. Oh, yeah. no, but I remember at one point you said there wouldn't be a volume two. I remember you going, no, no, no. no. So are you more nervous about releasing this or is it like, oh, it's a weight off your shoulders? It's that, that one. Yeah, the latter. I think... Um, the thing about me is, especially in interviews, I just talk a load of, uh, I just talk, well, well, I just say stuff. <laughs> it doesn't really mean anything. So if I'm telling, oh, I'm not going to do this, oh, I'm going to do this, I, it doesn't really mean anything. I don't know what I'm going to do myself. Yeah. yeah. So I said I wasn't going to do it, and then I did it. So that's kind of case in point that you can't really trust me. Okay, <laughs> well, that, that interesting. That leads me to my question, actually, because if I asked you if you were doing a volume three you would probably say no. Absolutely not. <laughs> but is like, that an really? absolutely not or an I absolutely not? I honestly don't think it's going to happen again. Is that, but is, you said that last time. <laughs> no, but, but why is that? Is it because it's... Because obviously you, you have so many collaborations on there. It's amazing. Is it because of that? It's like tying down other people to bring to your work? Do you think? Yeah. <laughs> it's like... I mean... <laughs> for me, I'm, I'm, I'm... You know, I grew up on my computer making tunes. I'm yeah. not really a social kind of guy. <laughs> I'm not really like a, oh, bring this person, let's make this happen, guys. Yeah. You know, I'm not really a team leader. Yeah. With this kind of stuff, there's an element of that. Right. And I kind of dip my toe in and I'm like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, it's yeah. that. So it's like not intrinsic to my nature mm-hmm. to do these sort of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, after the last one, I kind of retreated and I was like, I'm just working with British people now. <laughs> 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 I did, uh, you know, I did the Dua song yeah. and then the Sam song and that, that the Rag and Bone Man, then Tom Grennan. Yeah. That's not a coincidence. Mm. That was a very <laughs> that yeah. was a very methodical I'm gonna go back to my own country. Yeah. And yeah, just, yeah. you know, enjoy I that. I quite like that. But but I mean that being said, you know, out, out of maybe outside of Britain, who who's been your favourite artist that, that you've worked with? Uh, well, there's a oh, one of, of your favorite. One of your favorites. Uh, well, there's a lot of surreal ones, isn't there? So I mean, Justin Timberlake, and mm. I mean, yeah, doing the song with him is one thing. But when we did the video and it's Timberlake and Pharrell together, I was just like, I'm, I felt like an imposter. <laughs> like, I shouldn't be on the set. I, mean, I, I paid for the trailers. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but I shouldn't have been there. Like, I shouldn't have been there. So yeah, <laughs> that's big. That is very big. I love that. I, I was going to ask you if there's anyone else that you'd like to collaborate with, but I feel like you probably ticked a lot off i want to ask you is there any sort of songs that you would want to sample instead of collaborate with because obviously there's some people that aren't around would you like sample like a really big song 
Um, I've never really done that. No. I kind of, the, the enjoyable part of making music for me is try to think of something. Okay. New, or, you know, I could rip off something and get away with it. But <laughs> I'm, not really, I'm not really a sampler sort of okay. guy. I like yeah. playing stuff. I like messing around. It just feels like a bit of a, bit of a cop out. Hey, Has anything uh, weird ever inspired you? Like, where does it come from? Oh, uh, please say the heart. Please say the heart. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you want the real answer, there's a lot of pain deep inside. Oh, <laughs> lovely. And I think the reason that, uh, you know, when uh, when 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 people grow up and go through certain things, they, they carry stuff with them. For me, when I started making music, it was an outlet kind of to a different world. Like I wanted to escape my world, mm. so I would I would make music and be part of this. Like I could just I could create whatever I wanted to create nice. in this world. Yeah. So I kind of I can tap into that whenever, and I think that's why a couple of my songs have an element of longevity to them because there's so many layers and textures and it's kind of like, it's that world that you create. Yeah. We said with, with Stay With Me, it feels like you're transporting yourself back to like a 1970s disco room. Mm. Mm. It's real fun. Really, mm. really fun. It's, you know, yeah, it's, 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 it's designed for fun, you know? Love and it. If, if people are up for having fun, They'll probably enjoy it. I have to mention, you're looking pretty tanned. Am I? Uh, you've come back from Ibiza. I have, you? yeah, yeah, I've been there. Um, I have to ask because there's been so many people that I've seen on Instagram that are, are lucky enough to be able to go and see you um, at, at your DJ sets in Ashwire. Right. Have you had anyone that has been really random that has been on the guest list that you're like, you know, well, you're Barry from EastEnders? <laughs> Not quite that random, but we've had a lot of footballers this year, oh. which has been tremendous. You, you've been loving it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I saw that mate. picture of you. Virgil van Dijk, Kevin De Bruyne, Nathan <laughs> Aki in one night. Wow. And then, uh, who did we have? We had Harvey Elliott and Billy Gilmore, which was funny. It's Grealish Lovely. been out yet. Yeah. Uh, you know what, Grealish, I think he was in Ibiza, but he didn't come see me. Oh. oh, you got What's snubbed by Grealish, I, yeah. got <laughs> by Grealish. Oh. I got snubbed by you and all because you when? were here. You were in Ibiza a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, you, you were. Yeah. I wasn't there for the Friday. I wasn't there for the Friday. Coincidence. No. Nah, <laughs> I know how people put their flights I wasn't, I wasn't actually there for the yeah, Friday. You know, you know I'm on a Friday. Extend your flight next time. <laughs> I want to say Will Manning was at the gig last week. I had he a lovely was. time with Will Manning. He, I saw you taking a picture with him and someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. How there, did that uh, happen? Well, there was a Will Manning super fan <laughs> right. in, the, in the green room. Yeah. And that was him, so I offered to take the picture. I met a listener and got an up and coming DJ to take the picture. It's the fact he was that... Freaking that he, he was freaking out. He was freaking out. Picture with Will and you took you it. Were there. Yeah, I you mean, I'd be gutted. Listen, it was it, a big night. Vernon <laughs> Kay was there as well. It's a massive night. It's quite it's literally, mad, very, very tall people. You, you, missed, yeah, out, yeah. you missed out, Roman. No, I don't, because now I feel bad. Yeah, you should. Oh, yeah. Up. Anyway. Sorry, sorry on Instagram. Oh, Roman's in Ibiza. Maybe we'll come to the gig. <laughs> <laughs> so I will go, Sean. <laughs> yeah, we'll, 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 we'll go out there. next time, yeah. we know. I mean, we, we, have had some, we have had some quite strange kind of people turning up at some of our events sometimes. We had Matt Hancock turn up one time. We did. That was a bit we, we don't talk about him anymore. That wasn't fun. I'm bored of him. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty bad. You know, like, when, you're, when you've, when you like, done your gigs and whatever, is it kind of one of those things where you don't want to hear your own music or when you're at your farm or whatever, you're chilling, do you ever stick on one of your old bangers? I never actively stick one on myself, but if there's one in the background, it depends on the song. It depends on the song. Maybe yes, I want to hear Slide. Maybe no, I don't want to hear Let's Go. It's one of them. <laughs> like, it depends, on the, it depends on the mood that yeah. I'm in. Your catalogue of songs is huge. You have so many bangers. And what we want to do is try and whistle it down and figure out what is the greatest Calvin Harris song of all time. We found one. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Oh, you straight huh? away want to say it. Do you huh? know your? You, you, You've got do you one. Have one? Ah, it's We Found Love. Oh, yeah. Ah. Well, do you know what? I'm going to get you to hold your answer because we've got some... <laughs> we're, we're, we kind of want to make this a little bit of a game. How do we tease it? Yeah, how He's do we just tease it? it. He's just <laughs> it. Or is it? Yeah. That one is the one that kind of allowed me to get gigs in America for years and years and years. Mm, it's so. interesting. I would have always gone for this is what you came for. I, 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 both were Yana tunes, innit? Yeah. Way off. No, it what? Was, Way off. that one is like fine. But <laughs> What? I, you don't like that tune? I, it's not that I don't like it. I like it. I yeah. made it. It's great. But it's not as far as like, there's things that sort of changed my life. And yeah. that uh, we okay. found love, feel so close, and to an extent summer, things like that kind of like shifted things for me whereas this is what you came for it's like and this one too okay. you know it's my life ah oh, that's such a flex isn't it and this one with and Rihanna this one. as well whatever. this is another Rihanna song that yeah. I did <laughs> um, ready for the weekend 
Ooh. Oh, that's like a tune, that isn't it? Surely. Bounce. I love, I love that one. <laughs> Bouncy, I love Bounce. that one. Bounce. Oh, my God. Bounce. Yeah. Ridiculous. I like, I, oh, God, I like summer. Yeah. yeah. I like because summer. I like you, you love, singing. So, you love Calvin singing. I like you singing on your own tracks. I, mi- I, I do, and I miss it. You miss it. Well, I do. I, it's still there. That's the thing, yeah, is but... you can listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I want you to do more. <laughs> Why is everyone always wanting more and more? Yeah. more? Oh, sorry. It's right. just released an album. It's never enough, is it? You're right. That was out of order. I'm sorry. I have found I'll do this album, you want this album. I'll do that sort of thing, you want this yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, you're right. That's what, I mean, yeah, that's what people are like. But that's why it's good that you set the stool out and you've gone, do you know what? No. Yeah. <laughs> there ain't going to be a third <laughs> one. Pipe down, you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's it. I'm never playing This Is What You Came For ever again. <laughs> this is the good one. Perfect. Yeah. Amazing. Calvin, thank you so much uh, for coming into the studio. So lovely to have you in person. Cheers yeah. for having yeah. me. After all this time, uh, let's hear it for Calvin Harris, everyone. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo.